let's quilt the finishing four rows of the quilt along quilt. Welcome to a new video on the She Redo channel. My name is Irene and today we will be quilting the final four rows of the quilt long quilt. So the quilt that I have been quilting in the previous two videos, this one, we're going to finish quilting today. Well, I'm not completely going to finish quilting because I still have to finish some rows. Uh, but I'm going to show you the final four designs that I'm going to do. Uh, on these rows. So I have printed out my rows again and sketched some uh, designs. So I'm going to work with circles again this week and for this one uh, this part I sketched but this one I traced with a uh, circle ruler. So what I want to do is go around with half circles around the triangles and then make this space quite small so there's not going to be much space left so I just have to uh, figure out measure out what kind of ruler uh, what size circle I'm going to use for that then the second row is out of the box and I want to kind of elongate those lines in between um, so they really pop out of the box so that's going to be with a straight ruler then the next one is this one and I also want to go around with a circle then I want to match the circle to the width of this part of the cross um, so it's kind of boxed in with curved lines and I'm also going to use the same sized circle to go around here uh, and there you see a dotted line and I guess I have to mark that on my row to get those uh, circles and uh, nicely aligned on top of each other and then the final row um, I'm going to go a little bit freestyle so I want to alternate uh, with straight uh, lines between the, the shapes and then with some curvy um, circle lines um, but it's all going to be um, free motion quilting so just going to freestyle a little bit and think of something for going in between those uh, those shapes so that's what i'm going to do today let's start uh with the first row so for this first row my plan was to go around the triangle shapes with those um half circles and i have two um circle rulers here actually those are not circle rulers they are meant to um, be clip-ons for your ruler foot so you can echo around the shape but i'm just going to use them as as rulers and um, um, i just have to figure out what size is best but if i'm using this one the um, circles will also um, cross over here and what i drew was so then <laughs> you will get this so that they will cross over in the middle and i think i would like it better when it they hardly cross over uh, so then i'm going to use a smaller one so i think that that will mean that they will just meet in the middle or barely touch so i'm going to use this one don't want to go any smaller with the ruler this is small enough I have a lot of wiggle room uh, move a room to move around I mean because I'm working on the very first row yes that is working So when I make half a circle, I'm going to travel back a little bit along the triangle. I think that will alternate for every circle that I'm making. Doesn't that's okay. 
and then I'm just going to stitch until I meet the edge of the row that's fine and then position this ruler again and there are markings on the ruler um, so you see here there's markings and there's markings and I'm positioning those markers uh, along the uh, line of my triangle so that I only quill half the circle Let go then traveling back a little bit positioning the ruler again And with this one, I'm just going to go around it all the way. Until I'm on the edge of the triangle again. So that's um, one side. Let me show you how that looks. So there we have all those circles around the triangles. And now I also want to do the other side. There we go, that is how it's going to look. Whoa, I really like that look. So they are just touching at some points and here they are not. Uh, that's perfect, so that was what I kind of had in mind. Oh, I really like how this looks. So let's move on to the next row. And I need a straight ruler for this and I still kind of need a plan. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to start in a point, then uh, make the shape I want to go for first. That's over here. Then move this way a little bit. And I don't want to make the mistake or well kind of it's not really a mistake but uh, I don't want to put the lines too close together like I did with the, with um, the row in the previous video so I already want to keep that in mind I'm quilting them not too close together Let's move this way. And then I can travel or travel, use my ruler, it's easier. And then move all the way down I do like this look but I think when I only do lines in between that I need more quilting so maybe I need to 
also go around these shapes. I'm not sure. Just going to quilt a few more lines to see how it goes. Yep, so this is a new plan. I'm first going to uh, do the outside of the shape and then quilt one or two lines in uh, between. So now I've quilted this outline and then I'm going to do one or two lines in between. That is one of the shapes done. Let me see how I like it. I'm going to zoom out and show you. So here we have the circles, which make a great, great texture in the quilt. And here we have the lines. <laughs> and again, I quilted these closer together than I wanted. When I'm quilting, I'm thinking, oh, this is okay. I can quilt it this close. But then I see this and I like it better. So, um... Uh, this is what I'm going for and <laughs> this part I will just redo again but what I do like is um, first making the outline of this shape and then quilting in a line and I think two lines is a little bit too much um, so this is what I'm going to go for quilting the outside first and then quilting the inside and now for this one I need to find a ruler that makes circles that are this big. Ooh, I think this one might be just right. Mm. Yes, yeah, so it should be uh, a quarter inch short on both sides. So here I have a ruler and that is a quarter inch and then when I place this over here oh, this is just a little bit less than a quarter inch so it's too small. But what I can do is place this not completely on the center line, but place the center line a little bit inwards. And then this is going to be a little bit bigger on that side. So this is quarter inch now, and this is now also quarter inch, kind of. So I need to make sure that I'm placing the circle to the inside a little bit so that is about a quarter inch to the inside I would say yep looks good I'm going to give this a try oh and I'm going to mark a line over here and to mark a line I sometimes use erasable markers uh, a water erasable marker which I like but I also love this one uh, this is from Clover and um, it kind of makes a crease in the fabric so of course I should do this two hands but also holding the camera uh, yeah so you can just use a ruler and push it down in the quilt and ta-da there is a beautiful crease which will also uh, disappear after I don't know washing ironing um, but it's perfect to use for quilting so then I can just place this ruler on here and then after that I will place it with the center line on the line. Uh, yep, yeah, and then I can quilt around it. Perfect, let's go! Yay! So the first three are quilted. Now I'm going to start over here. So excited about how this is going to work out. So I'm placing this with the center line not completely on the shape of the cross stitch. A little bit back inside. There we go. Yay! I made it to the corner. 
it ended nicely in the corner. Awesome. Oh, this is so fun to do. I find the circle rulers are a little bit harder to cool with than the straight line or the wavy rulers because you really have to pay attention to keep your ruler foot against the ruler but the result is so cool I'm so excited to see how this looks looks good looks like what I had in mind but what I see now is that the cross is pretty big so there is quite some um, space over here that's not quilted mm, should I do something about that yeah I'm going to quilt it in the ditch around the shape to uh, quilt it a little bit extra because I'm making these movements, so this this shape is completely not quilted. So just going to go ahead and stitch in the ditch over here. Yeah, that's, that already feels better. So I've stitched around the shape. Great, so now this one. Three, well, almost circles, this one. <laughs> was <laughs> a little bit oddly shaped with big stitches but that's just part of the learning process these two look pretty good don't you think so um yeah that's what i'm doing for this row i'm just going to move on to the next one and then after that show you all four rows what wanted what did i want to do for this row uh let me grab my piece of paper oh yeah I wanted to alternate with designs in between the shapes. Um, so I guess some free motion. And I'm just going to do the shapes of the arrow with uh, my ruler. So that I don't have the same problem as with the cross stitch, but I have too little quilted. There we go, let's start with the first design. Um, hmm. Something with loops, I think, would be nice. Let's try it out. Okay, okay, not not too bad. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do something different in each uh, space between the arrows. Nice row to practice some free motion on. So, 
next one this one I'm going to do with zigzaggy straight stitches I think oh, but first let's move along the shape kind of like how that looks okay something curvy again mm, let's see maybe I should make loops only in one direction that would be easier Yay, that looks way better than the first one that I tried. Uh, that's fun. Yes, I like that. So this one I went only in this direction. And the other one I tried, I went to this direction and then I turned, went to that direction. So I made it a lot harder for myself and this looks really nice. That's a win-win, I would say. So this is what I did. So that first uh, loopy shape was a little bit messy because I went both directions with the loops and I didn't really know how to do it. But here it looks way more put together. And I like that I'm moving now outside uh, this line also, which I also did over here. I like it. So I'm um, going to continue with that. Here I stayed nicely within the lines, but here I went a little bit outside the line and I think that's fun with this design. So this is what the cross stitch road looks like. Uh, it's not as spectacular as I thought it <laughs> would look, uh, but I like it enough. So um, it's fun and uh, <laughs> good enough for me. Um, so then this one I already mentioned. I like how this looks and this is too dense for my liking and this one I love it those circly shapes make such a lovely texture in the quilt cool so I can continue making these and uh, finishing everything oh and I also wanted to show you uh, so I finished these rows and this one I now quilted a little bit closer together by also adding some uh, echoing lines and I love how that looks so um, this row isn't done yet but this row is done and this row and this row so um, yeah love how those wavy lines look and that was it those were the final four designs uh, for the quilt long quilt how I am quilting it with rulers I hope this gives some inspiration to uh, get started quilting your quilt and maybe give some ideas on how you could do it with the rulers. Um, if you want more inspiration, please also do check out the hashtag SugardooBerninaQuiltAlong uh, on uh, Instagram because there are so many talented quilters quilting their quilts and uh, sharing pictures of the process. So do take a look on there, maybe you get some ideas on how you want to quilt your quilt or you can share how you are doing it and what you're learning along the way I would love to see it thank you so much for sewing along and quilting along in this Yubridu Benina quilt along uh, it's almost getting to an end but I have another quilt to quilt and that is my blue and grey um, with yellow accent fabric uh, quilt and I'm going to quilt that in three parts so that is going to be up soon on the YouTube channel and the Bernina vlog so then you can see how you can quilt a quilt in three parts then assemble it and after that is assembled I'm going to show you how I do the binding on my quilt that was it for this week and if you're wondering what's behind me this is a very pink Christmas um, so if you are watching this right now, you still have some time to make something for Christmas. 
And this is a new pattern that I just released. I still have a few kits left. Uh, so those kits contain fabric to make. You can choose one, two or four placemats. Uh, or you can just make it as a mini quilt and put it on your wall. So there are kits and of course there's also a pattern. I will put those details in the comment section down below. So if you're looking for a new quilty project to finish just before Christmas, you might want to take a look at my new pattern called A Very Pink Christmas. That's it for this week. I would love to see you again next week on the Shiverdu channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!